hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is patience if you are new here and if you have not subscribed kindly click the subscribe button right now so today we are going to be making this beautiful flare kimono jacket let's get into it so i'll be using this fabric for the jacket and i'll be using this plain fabric for the collar so I folded my fabric into two. As you can see, I did not fold it straight. I slanted it this way because I want the lower part to be a bit wider. So this is the shoulder line and then I'll be taking the shoulder measurements here. So. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 plus half, that's 8 and half inches. Then from the 8 and half inches, I'll come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slant. So the next measurement is the armhole measurement which is 18 inches divided by 2 is 9 inches. So the next measurement is the shoulder to waist measurement which is 17 inches. Then the shoulder to hip, which is 26 inches. And then 45 inches for the full length. So I've gone ahead to mark that already. I'll be using 43 inches actually for the full length and I'll be using the remaining two inches to hem the lower part. So I'll bring down this eight and a half inches to this line, which is the armhole line. It is also the chest line. So I'll go ahead and connect the points. And then I'll mark the midpoint of this line, which is four and a half inches. So from the four and a half inches, I'll come in by half inch. And then I'll use my armhole curve to make a curve from the half inch. That is for my front armhole. And then I'll connect the half inch to the tip of the shoulder line. And for the back armhole, I'll just make a curve from the midpoint. So now I'll be taking my circumference measurements. So the bust circumference I'm working with is 48 inches divided by 4 is 12 inches. I'll be adding 1 inch for ease. That is 13 inches. And I'll also be adding 1 inch for sewing allowance. So the waist circumference I'm working with is 43 inches. Divided by 4 is 10.75. So I'll be adding 2 inch for ease. That is 12.75. So 
so go ahead and mark 12.75 and I'll also add one inch for sewing allowance. So the hip circumference is 52 inches divided by 4 is 13 inches so I'll be adding 2 inch for ease that is 15 inches and then I'll be adding 1 inch for sewing allowance so I'll go ahead and connect this So I used 15 inches on the hip line, so I'll be adding 1 inch to it, that's 16 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark 16 inches on the hem line and then 1 inch for sewing allowance. So on the hip measurements and on the hem line, you can add 3 inches, you can add 4 inches, depends on how open you want the flare. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. And I'll leave a shoulder allowance that I'll use to join the shoulder. So for the neck, I'll be using three and a half inches for the width of the neck since I'm working with a plus size. If you're not working with a plus size, you can use three inches. And I'll be using one inch for the depth of the neck. That is for the back neck. So I'll be using this as a pattern to cut the back piece. And as you can see, I did not cut the front armhole. After tracing the back piece, I'll cut the front armhole and then I'll cut the front neckline. So this is the back piece. So I'll cut the front armhole. And then I'll mark half inch on the waistline. On the hip line. And also on the hem line. I'll connect it. Then from the half inch on the waistline, I'll make a slant line to the three and a half inch. So if you like, you can also measure the three and a half inches down to the hem line. Since you are, you are still going to replace it with the collar. But I will just leave it this way. So I'll cut this out. So I now have two pieces for my front piece. So the next thing is I'll be joining the shoulders together. I'll make sure good sides are facing each other. I'll go ahead and pin it down first. And then I'll sew the half inch I left for sewing allowance. So this is it. I've joined the shoulders together. And also the one inch I left for sewing allowance on both sides so this is how it came out so the next thing i'll do is i'll measure the neck line for the collar so i'll notch the middle of the neck And then I'll go ahead and measure 
from the middle of the neck downwards. So what I have here is 50 inches. So the other side is also 50 inches. So that's 100 inches. So I've gone ahead to cut the collar. The length of the collar is 6 inches. And then when I fold it, it will be 3 inches. So I'll be using half inch to join it to the jacket and I'll be using 2 inch for the collar. So I made two of this. And the length is more than 15 inches. So to join this together, I'll make sure good sides are facing each other. And I'll make sure they are aligned. I'll pin it down. Then I'll be sewing by half inch. I'll cut out the excess. So after joining it, I'll iron it. Now to attach the collar, I'll make sure I align it with the middle of the neck that I notched earlier. So I'll go ahead and pin it down. And also by half inch all the way down. So I've done that and this is how it came out. So I'll cut out the excess. So this is it. I made sure they are aligned. Now I'll hem the lower part with the two inch I left for hemming allowance. So I've gone ahead to cut my sleeve. I have a video on how to draft a basic sleeve. I'll put the link on the description box below. So the only thing I did was to add to the round wrist, depends on how open you want it. So that is that. So the length of the sleeve I want is 21 inches. So I used 19 inches here, because I'll be adding two inch on the plain fabric. So I made two of this for the sleeve. The length I used is five inches. So when I fold it, it will be two and a half inches. So I'll be using half inch to join it. So to attach the plain material, I'll go ahead and place good sides on each other. And then I'll pin it down before I sew it by half inch. Then I'll sew on the one inch I left for sewing allowance. Then I'll cut out the excess. So I'll do the same thing on the other sleeve. So it is done. I made sure those parts are aligned. So this is it, sewn and pressed. Now I'll be attaching the sleeve. So I'll make sure good sides are facing each other this way. And then I'll align it and pin it down. And sew it by half inch.
so i'll be making a belt for this jacket and the length is five inches so when i fold it it will be two and a half inches i'll make sure good sides are facing each other then i'll sew by half inch and i'll leave a space in the middle that i'll use to pull it out So I'll go ahead and shape it this way and sew half inch. So I've done that. Now I'll pull it out and iron it. So this is it. I've attached the sleeve and this is how it came out. And I also hemmed the lower part. So this is it sewn and pressed. And also the belt, I top stitched this side I left. So this is how it came out. So I'll put this on a mannequin to show you guys how it came out. We have come to the end of this tutorial. If this was helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.